are with your host advocate Kaylin Engelbrig. Just a little background on myself. I grew up in Delft, a school at Rosendorf Primary. I then went to Perseverance Secondary School where I matriculated in 2009. I then knew where I was going. I went straight to University of the Western Cape where I graduated with my law degree. A few years later, I got admitted as an advocate in the Western Cape High Court. I am now currently self-employed, owning my own firm and representing on the defense side of the law. <laughs> I grew up on the Cape Flats where it is very nice, just liquor, to grow up on the Cape Flats. Um, it is where you hear on the one side Judy Boucher and on the other side you hear Kenny G. This is very lekker om in op kap so vlak te groot te raak. And going into the Cape Flats for people that doesn't know the Cape Flats, people might people always get scared to go onto the Cape Flats. But I took some of my friends to the on the Cape Flats, and they were in our way when they saw how we as coloured people stand together. We as coloured people, yes, we do stand together. We have this unconditional love. You can be from the other side of the world as long as you are colored. It doesn't matter of your surname. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. But if you stand with your colored people and we all stand together. I'm gonna to make you one example is that um, going into, into the um, colored area with um, just to do a sort of a film, and if you call one, the whole community will come because they want to be seen, they want to tell their story over to, to, to the people out there. And this is why we have this platform of Inferno, to also give the opportunity to the voiceless. And people will be astonished how these people Oh, they are well mannered. They are so respectful. I work on a daily basis with with uh, coloured people, especially the gangsters on the Cape Flats. And people always ask me, how do you cope working with gangsters? This for me, by liquor. When that can or self respect, it goes also with respect to them, and it goes with uh, respect. It goes in two ways. So if you respect them, they will respect you. If you are going to step on the toes, they will step on your toes as well. <laughs> so talking about the Cape Flats also, um, going on to the Cape Flats, we specifically went to Manenberg with my um, few friends of mine. And the children, they were so amazing. When they saw the cameras, they were just being natural in front of the cameras. And also seeing the children running to me, it warmed my heart because I know that children, um, you can draw children by, or you draw children with your energy. And your energy has to be pure. So if your energy is pure, you will draw these children. And that was a home hearted felt feeling for me when these children came running to me, dancing with me, and it took me back how I grew up. We were always loving, we cared for each other. If we have to call the boys or girls in, in, in my area and say, listen, we're gonna play Nikki's, I'm a bit but Nikki is Nikki's us. And then we go for it. Everyone in the community will come and we'll play along, we'll dance, we will play um, skipping rope. Uh, boys can spill soccer in the street, we call it the street soccer and I must tell you this is our future soccer players, our future doctors, our future lawyers. If I can do it, they can do it too. And the reason also for me going into criminal law is because growing up on the Cape Flats, I've seen how people get arrested unlawfully and how people they don't know the law. And also with a lot of road accident funds, payouts, people in my area, they don't know the law, they don't know the procedure. And that is why I, myself, decided to go into criminal law to give back to my community and to represent those who doesn't have a voice. And this is the perfect platform that we have today here 
the inferno. We want to give back to our community and we want to give the opportunity to the voice and the voiceless. If we say to the voice, so the voice is people that made it out of this community, like myself. We will get a variety of people on this platform to tell you more about your rights up until doctors, advice, anything. You can just put a request in. We will get it for you on this platform. We are going to show you also reality stories of people's real lives. Uh, getting also people on this platform that can give back to us. You can just put in a request if you need any advice. It can be legal advice or any medical advice or anything else that you want to know. We will make sure that we will get the perfect person on this platform to the voiceless. The people that doesn't have a voice, that wants to be heard, we will get you on this platform so that you can be heard too. And it's not just going to happen on the Cape Flats. We are moving. We are going from my province to your province. We will definitely go to Limpopo. We will go to Johannesburg. If we have to go to the Free State, we will go to for you to be heard on this platform. The beauty of our community is that this a lot has made it out of our community. If we look at Luke Bartman, he's currently playing for Cape Town Spurs. He grew up in Alsace River. He is now attracting international teams. And this is reports emerging from Europe. We also have your well-known coach, Vincent from Guguletu. He has won the MVP at Michael Jordan Flight School. We also have Benny McCarthy who grew up on the Cape Flats. He's a former Bafana Bafana player who is now part of the coaching team at Manchester United. We also have a magistrate that grew up on the Cape Fleet, specifically in Eitzig. He is now a magistrate in Grabo. Dr. Randall Otal also grew up on the Cape Fleet, more specifically in Manenburg. And there is so many more whom you will see on this platform. From my province to your province, this is your platform. Advocate Caleb Engelbrecht, signing out.